All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel, starting with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations and speaking their tongues. Shalom to all of you. Before we get started with this lesson, going to face the east and give the much do all phrases, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash, Koholo Yimla, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring the works. All right, and shalom to you believers out there. All right. To Low will in today's lesson be edifying and playing upon the tables related to World War Three, you know, slash uh, Babylon will fall to the Medes pretty much. All right. I'm your brother, Manazar, representing Warriors for Yahweh Shai, Pasadena, Texas branch. Again, low willing. Today's lesson is edifying, playing upon the tables. All right. I got on mute right now. Uh, this video because you got music playing in the background. I ain't trying to get striked. But in the video, you can hear these uh, Americans. I'm guessing this is an is a, is a Edomite family. Confounded that, hey, are, like, are those Russians? All right. No clue in the world that you Americans here in America, you've been conquered. And don't even know it. Or you may know it, but you don't care. Because you don't take nothing seriously. Everything's a fucking joke to y'all. So y'all have been conquered. The America's enemies is already here. Especially Russia. Russia has declared America an enemy. Okay? And according to biblical prophecies, Babylon will fall to the Medes. Alright? The book of Isaiah... Chapter 13, verses 17 to 19 in the KJV. And it's titled up here as what? Babylon will fall to the Medes, right? So America will fall to Russia. Okay? Verse 17, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. Right? Stir up Russia against America, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All right, so the breakdown, right? The Mies talking about Russia. Okay, all right. The Lord will put it in the mind of the Russians to attack, to attack America, regardless of gold and silver. There's no amount of gold. There's no amount of silver that exists. There's no amount of money. That America can use to buy their way out of biblical prophecy. You cannot buy your way out of World War Three, Esau. All right, all right. America is destined, is predestined to be destroyed, to 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 burn alive. All right. Verse 18, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity upon the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Those bows is the ICBM missiles. Their eyes shall not spare children. The Russian troops that will fight against America will not pity children. They're not going to pity these Edomite children here. All right. What do you see on the table right there to the left? We're in pink. Even babies. Okay. They're not going to care, man. They don't care. They want war. This is biblical prophecy. Okay. So let's go to verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, 
The beauty of the child these excellency is talking about America shall be, making a comparison, shall be as when the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So the Lord's going to melt this place just like he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. America's going to melt by thermonuclear fire and from the chariots, the so-called UFOs, the chariots are going to also participate in the destruction of America. That's why there's so many sightings, reports on so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord here upon this sinful ass kingdom, America. Because this place is about to finally re receive her reward, destruction. Okay? So now we're going to read this in a good news translation. Let me color code this thing real quick. All right. Yellow and then let's do green. All right. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17 to 19 in a good news translation. Verse 17, the Lord says, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai says, I am staring up the Medes, Russia, to attack Babylon, America. I am staring up the Medes to attack Babylon. They, the Russians, they care nothing for silver and are not tempted by gold. Verse 18, with their bows and arrows, the missiles, the nukes, right? The, 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 the ICBMs, right? With their bows and arrows, they will kill the young men. You see some young men in here, right? For an example. All right, you see, you see them right there? Right? See them, right? Young men right there. All right? Uh, they will show no mercy to babies and take no pity on children. You see children, no mercy upon children, and no pity upon even babies. All right? All right? Like the scripture says, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai is his name. All right? It's a lot here for that. All right? You... Damn it. All right. You see that over, okay? All right. I'm going to read it again. Verse 18. With their bows and arrows, they will kill the young men. They will show no mercy to babies and take no pity on children. Verse 19. Babylon, right? America. Babylon is the most beautiful kingdom of all. It is the pride of his people. But. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will overthrow Babylon as I did Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was wicked as hell. You had a lot of, of, of that Fruit Loop shit going on there. Sexual you no know, immorality, you know, that whole, you know, alphabet genus shit, all kinds of wickedness going on there. Especially that whole, you know, alphabet shit going on. The Lord melted that damn place. So, look at America today for an example. Alright? It's going to melt too. It's going to get the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. Alright? It's going to melt. Alright? It's going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna be burned by thermal nuclear destruction and the chariots, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai adding more fire to this wicked-ass sinful kingdom. Alright? Good. Good. This place got to fucking go. And you Americans. Two thirds that's here. Alright. Got to burn the cancer. Off of planet earth man. This shit got to go. Alright. Let's see. Uh, let me get one more. Alright. Get something from Ezekiel chapter 38. Um, let's see. Ezekiel chapter 38, verses 8 through 11. All right. 
So the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verses 8 through 11, KJV. After many days, thou shalt be visited. In the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. Okay. So when it says brought back from the sword, America has never been attacked. Right. America is, is spoiled. That's why America is also known, also known as uh, the, uh, the, the, the aversion, pretty much, right? It never been attacked. It never experienced what it did to other nations, right? Going to other nations and dropping off nukes, dropping off uh, missiles and polluting the place and, and destroying it, taking the resources, polluting the people, right? So that's going to happen to America. Okay, this whore, right, is, is about to get touched. Okay. Um, so back to the scripture. Many uh, after many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel. Which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Right. So when it says many people, right, you go to Revelation chapter uh, 17, verse 15, uh, against the mountains of Israel, right, talking about the region of Israel, um, shall dwell safely, right? So the real Israelites will eventually inhabit the land of Israel in peace. All right. That's why in the scripture goes into something like uh, this paraphrasing uh, that war shall no more be heard in my land. This paraphrasing that land is Israel. So right now you hear war in that land. Which is a huge red flag. Like, hold up, you y'all claim to be the chosen people over there, but why is it that, according to the scriptures, it says that no war shall be heard in his land? And yeah, how about you know his favorite land, the land of Israel? But there's war going on over there. You got that fruit loop shit going on over there. All kind of wickedness going on over there, right? The real Israelites will eventually inhabit the land of Israel in peace. Once Esau, Edom is taken out of power, following all the other heathen nations, put your asses into captivity as slavery under the nation of Israel. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, be on the forefront, uh, governing the whole thing with uh, his men, King David, the 144,000 elect men, right? That represents the house of David. The land is going to finally be at peace. The people going, the true people are going to be at peace. All right. Once this place is officially destroyed, oh Lord, willing soon. This place got to go, man. All right. Now, verse nine: Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee, right? So those bands come out the different military men, right? They're going to invade this place, man, all right? <laughs> America is done, okay? Uh, like, like the BRIC nations, for an example, right? And you're, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, Turkey, which is a really huge nation, that was, that was, that's what NATO are planning to depart from uh, NATO. Okay. All right. I was stationed overseas in Afghanistan, you know, in the past on a NATO uh, uh, base. And Turkey was one of them. Out of the two defects, like lunch halls that you can choose to eat, you had a, the, so the American defect. That shit was garbage. And then you had the Turkish defect. Ah, damn the fool. Anyway, that's a different story. But shit. But yeah. Right. Um, so you got uh, eventually, right? This nation is going to be invaded, even by his, his own, <laughs> his own once to be uh, once was allies. I guess you could say. 
Uh, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands, the different military men, and many people with thee. Verse 10. Thus saith the Lord, power, Yahweh, the true name of the Most High, the God in the Bible, Yahweh, get it right. All right. Say our Heavenly Father name correctly. His true name is Yahweh. Okay. Put some fucking respect and fear and reverence on his name, damn it. Bahashem in the name of his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, who is sitting right next to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think of an evil thought. So, right, the Lord. Will put it in the mind of the Russians to attack America. The law is doing this. Okay? The law is going to do this. How about me? I shy. At some point, he's going to put it into the minds of Russians to like, okay, go. Attack this. Attack the whole. Attack America and you are proud as Americans, man. Good. Now, I apply to you two thirds as here too, man. You rebellious ass Israelites. All right. Uh, verse 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest. That dwell safely. All of them dwelling without walls. And having neither bars nor gates. Alright. So the land of unwalled villages is America. Them that are at rest. America and the state of Israel. So that's why America is just easily. Easily. Like clockwork. Taking candy from a, from, from a, from a baby. Just invading this place. Right before your face. Right before your eyes. Just walking in, coming in from all angles, flying in. All right, they right here, man. All right, and you, you, you Americans, <laughs> you see here, at ease, at rest, no care in the world, no, no fear, no fear, no care. Like yo, is why yo Russia is flying. Off the coast of Florida, yo, like they here? And no care in the world. <laughs> you Americans are through. <laughs> You've been conquered. You don't even know it, man. Alright, let's get one more. Oh, Salakia. Yeah. Let's get one more real quick, man. Let's get that ripple. Second woe that has passed, World War II, which was a biblical prophecy that has been fulfilled at its appointed time, just like World War I. Now, guess what? It says what? And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right? So, World War II has passed, and the third war is coming quickly in this. Twenty four verse thirty four in the KJV red lettering, the Messiah is speaking here, and his name is Yah Hawashai, Yah He, Hawashai, Deliver Savior, He save He delivers the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, the real Jews, the real Israelites, right? This is the Lord saying here. Verily, I say unto you, this generation, yeah, you damn, yeah, this, this one, this one, this generation, this lifetime, right? This generation 
shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled, till these prophecies be fulfilled. World War Three, Civil War. The MOTB, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip becoming mandatory, the hour temptation, America's destruction. All right. These prophecies, this time, this damn generation, all right. Slow, willing to lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Babylon will fall to the Medes. All right. Let's give all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Koholoyim la Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring and works. And shalom to you believers. Lord willing, you was edified. Shalom.